Well, as you can see, I'm up close on liquid amber corky, and you can see the great fall color, and look at the winged habit to the branching. Very nice, unusual texture to that. Great form and, and fall color on this plant. Again, the tree that we're looking at is liquid amber corky, the Willoway introduction from Avon, Ohio. And we're still walking around here in our Avon facility, and I just came across this block of uh, two and a half and three inch skyline locusts. As you can see, these are gorgeous trees. Really nice structure to the branch. Continuing our walk this morning, we see we have a beautiful block of 10 and 12 foot um, Betula collier heritage birch. Really nice caliper to these stems. This is a statement plant. The trees we're looking at now are Crataegus enormis, or thornless uh, hawthorns. And you can see the the uh, enormous is really putting out a nice set of fruit, so this had some fall interest. Beautiful spring flower, really nice heads on these inch and three quarter to two inch trees. Now we're lucky today again walking through the Avon Farms. We got a beautiful sunny November day starting out here. And I'm um, walking through right now is a block of Tilia uh, firecracker, and these. Uh, are all the way up to three inch in this block as you can see these are beautiful trees I'll give you some perspective this tree here with the orange ribbon is a three inch you can see it's got a beautiful head on it this is a willoway selection and you can read all about our selections and plant varieties on our website but this one is a great street tree as well as a fantastic tree in the yard because it is almost self-shaping the beautiful fall fruit display on nice plants. This is uh, Crataegus Winter King. Next group of trees I wanted to take a look at. This is uh, Acer Rubrum Sun Valley, and these are uh, two to two and a half inch trees. So you can see really nice full hedge to these. This is an improved red. And then behind them, the upright is uh, Plantinoides. This is uh, Acer Crimson Century, which is the upright maple that looks. Uh, pretty much like the big crimson king red burgundy leaf in an upright form and these are limbed up a bit but this would make a really nice uh, small space garden plant these are gorgeous full headed trees well, columnar plants and trees have been a hit this year and what we're looking at right now is uh, Carpinus the columnar Carpinus and as you can see it has a beautiful yellow fall color really nice tight symmetrical head and these are gorgeous three inch trees and here we have another look at uh, another look at those Acer Sun Valleys really nice full heads these are uh, two and a half to three inch here we have some uh, two and a half to three and a half on these these are Zelkova Village Green and uh, Zelkova has a really nice vase shaped head smaller foliage kind of a soft texture tree makes a great street tree. Very little uh, disease problems with this one. And here we have uh, Acer Jeffers Red or Autumn Flame and this one uh, gives you all the, the beauty of a red maple with a little more aggressive uh, growth habit to it so you can get the tree bigger, better, faster in your yard. This has a beautiful uh, scarlet red fall color and as you can see these are very nicely uh, branched trees. These are two and a half and three inch and I'll pan over this way. You can see that this whole block of trees is just picture perfect. Almost row run on them. I came up on a block of uh, crimson centuries, and these are two and a half and three inch. The uh, lavender ribbon here is a two and a half inch, and you can see these are beautiful full heads. And this is the low version of crimson century. Again, gorgeous fall color, deep crimson foliage in the summer, and this beautiful columnar habit. Two and a half to three inch Acer Crimson Sentry. Walking away from these uh, Crimson Sentries in this low branch form, as you can see, if you're looking for a beautiful hedge, I just wanted to come back and give you the shot. These upright, uh, narrow forms of uh, maple and oaks are just uh, perfect for the screening effect. Here we have a fantastic sugar maple. This is uh, Acer Green Mountain, and these are two to three inch in this block here. Um, what we're looking at is two in the center, or two and a half and threes, just to, to give you an idea of size. 
uh, Green Mountain and sugars in general are the trees that light up the skies in the fall. This is a great one, Acer Green Mountain. And we're coming to the end of this block of trees and there's some beauties on the end here. This plan I have in focus is a two and a half to three inch Acer Truncatum Norwegian Sunset. And just look at this, it's just lighting up the sky right now with this beautiful orange fall color. This block here is uh, two and a half to three inch and you can see they're beautiful trees. Acer Truncatum Norwegian Sunset. Here we have uh, Quir Quercus Rover Regal Prince and this is another one of those uh, upright columnar form trees. This has a rich green foliage to it. Great habit. Again, this would make an awesome uh, screen on a large property or a beautiful specimen. Regal Prince, two to three inch. And these stately trees that I have in my viewfinder now is uh, Quercus Bicolor. And you can see these are uh, in that two and a half to three and a half inch. These oaks are uh, beautiful plants and they have a nice characteristic with peeling bark. These are th two and a half to three inch Quercus Bicolor. Well if you're taking a walk and you're going through the woods and you see this beautiful cinnamon red color Odds are you're looking at this plant. This is uh, Northern Red Oak, Acer Rubrum. And you can see this foliage is just stunning. These are uh, two and a half to three and a half inch trees and uh, really nice headed full specimen plants. And uh, the fall foliage is just amazing. Acer Rubrum, two and a half to three and a half. Just like the Crimson Century Maple, the Regal Prince Oak, Quercus uh, Regal Prince, we have limbed these up. And you can see these are at about four foot branching and they've got beautiful symmetrical heads. And these are uh, in the two and a half to three inch range. So there are two options in the high and low branch. And the trees that we're looking at again is Quercus Regal Prince. And I'm walking back to the truck here on this farm, I see I came across uh, some beautiful uh, two and a half to three and a half inch Celtus um, Occidentalis trees. These are gorgeous, gorgeous full headed trees. Uh, look at this. This is Malus sargenti. And this one is a two and a half inch tree. And look at the spread on this plant. It is gorgeous. And this one is going to be uh, short and wide. And it's going to explode in white blossoms in the spring. This is a great value. Malice Argenti, two and a half to threes. Well, we talked about that beautiful rich red color on the Crimson Centuries, and this one is uh, Crimson King. It's the wider, taller plant that you see in most yards throughout uh, your neighborhood. And these are just gorgeous. These are two and a half to three inch. And you can see they've got really nicely developed heads in good proportion to the uh, head to trunk. Beautiful plants. Asa Crimson King. Two and a half to three inch. Well, these trees are sought after for its beautiful bloom throughout the, the summer here. These are uh, Syringa Ivory Silk, and they have the long white panicles in the summer. These are beautiful uh, two inch trees. Again, Syringa Ivory Silk. The trees we're looking at now are Amelanchier Cumulus, and that's the service berries. This is the tree form we looked at uh, in our walk around in here on the multi stem. We offer uh, Amelanchier in a tree form. These happen to be uh, two inch trees. This is underused in the landscape. This is a short stature tree that offers spring blooms, the fruit for the birds and the, the wildlife, and then the beautiful fall color. If you like the beautiful spring display that our red buds give us, you'll love this one. This is uh, Circus Forest Pansy. And what makes this one special, it has that deep crimson purple foliage, it has the beautiful spring flower, and these are uh, multi-stems as you can see in seven and eight foot. The orange is the seven foot and the blue is the eight foot. Look how gorgeous these are, nice wide beautiful plants. Search this forest pansy, seven and eight foot. Here we have a beautiful block of probably the most popular and well known red maple around right now and that is uh, Acer Frank's Red or Red Sunset Maple. This is a gorgeous uh, plant, gets around 35 feet 
nicely shaped as you can see these are two and a half inch trees almost picture perfect row run if you're wondering what those little black things are in the trunk for uh, the homeowner we actually put those on to protect from deer damage but wanted you to see these beautiful trees these are two and a half inch Acer Frank's Red or Red Sunset Maple. I was lucky to pull the little foliage off of that uh, Red Sunset Maple. Look at the transitional colors on this. Isn't this gorgeous? That would make a beautiful fall display in your yard. Wow, as a homeowner, this is cause for celebration. Pardon the pun, but this is uh, Acer Celebration, and this is like a three and a half to four inch beautiful instant effect plant. Look at the gorgeous size on these plants. Acer Celebration. Let's look next to them too. We have some really nice elms in a two and a half inch size. This elm that we're looking at is Triumph. These are improved varieties. Beautiful street trees. So we have Triumph Elm and these gorgeous Celebration Maples. Wanted to take you through our uh, Japanese maples. These are specimen plants give you a little heads up here the one on the right in the orange ribbon would be 84 inch the blue signifies the 96 or 8 foot these are low branched or multi stems so you can see here these are gorgeous full plants we have both crimson prince and blood good in the fields this is a statement plant instant effect in the landscape right next to those gorgeous celebrations we have another amelanchier to show you this one is autumn brilliance in a tree form Again, Amelanchier is, or serviceberry is an underused plant. This is a great short stature tree. Look at the beautiful red fall color. Autumn brilliance serviceberry. I want to give you a perspective on how trees can add beauty and value to your home. As we can see here, this is a new development just put in and not very many trees are installed yet. As you can see here in the same development, just in a year's difference we can see how beautiful the the landscapes are developing and how much uh, the trees and shrubs will add value to your home it's reported now that almost twenty percent can be added to the value of a home with a really nicely installed landscape and this the row of plants that i'm showing you here are the the lavender are seventy two inch six footers still great looking plants nice heavy branching to them specimen quality. Our Japanese maple in containers and fields, remember, are acclimated to the Midwest region. So they'll uh, do well in the landscape for your consumers and give them success. The plant right in front of us is a two inch single stem. If you prefer more of a single stem uh, in your Japanese maples, we have them. Uh, if you've not seen this one, this is uh, Cornus Moss Golden Glory, and these are inch and three quarter and two inch trees. Beautiful full heads. This thing is going to explode in the spring in yellow flowers. As you can see, this is a very uniform block of trees. I'm going to zoom in closer here so you can see this great bud set. All these little dots here are going to be just exploding with yellow color. This is a very hardy plant to the Midwest. This is Cornus Moss Golden Glory. Now we see a load being uh, done right from the field here. All of our plants are dug and loaded directly on the truck and shipped to you for the freshest quality possible. Well, early we looked at uh, Forest Pansy, which is that beautiful crimson red foliage. Now I'm going to offer you a twist. This is Circus Covey or Lavender Twist. This is a weeping red bud. And we're looking at two, two and a half inch plants. And you can see these are specimen quality. This has all the beautiful blooms of a red bud that's going to cascade down these arching branches and just look uh, stunning in the spring. So this is one to consider for your uh, landscape this spring. What we're looking at is Circus Covey or Lavender Twist. And these are two and two and a half inch. This is a two to two and a half inch block of Magnolia Galaxy. And here we have another block of those beautiful upright oaks, regal prints. It's just gorgeous. Awesome fall color, great form. And these are in the two and a half to three inch size. Here we have a row of beautiful two and a half and three inch uh, 
Valley Forge Elm. These are all improved elm varieties. As you can see, these are gorgeous full trees. Almless Valley Forge in two and a half and three inch. Here's another block of these beautiful two to two and a half inch skyline locusts. These locusts make great large canopy trees with an airy kind of look to them. Uh, beautiful plants, beautiful dense heads. These are two to two and a half inch Gladitzia sky coal or skyline locust. Here's another unusual one. This is Gymnoclades Expresso. This is uh, an improved variety. As you can see here, much better branched. Very full heads. These are two and a half inch and up, two and a half and threes. Really nice looking raw plants. Gymnoclades Expresso. This is two and a half to three inch. Here's a fine. This is uh, inch and three quarter and two inch. We go much larger, but this is a nice example of the plant. This is Snow Fountain uh, Cherry. This is a nice tight weeper, cascading white flowers. This is a beautiful plant. This, this is Homestead Elm. You can see here the nice lacy texture to this one. Great looking plant. These are in a block of three to three and a half inch. The tree I'm going to show you now is uh, Quercus coccinea or scarlet red oak. Look at these gorgeous trees, nice full heads. These are uh, two and a half inch and up. They all, they're beautiful trees and you can see its namesake. It has this great red fall color. Quercus coccinea, scarlet red oak. We're going to wind down our Avon field walk with uh, a glimpse at some multi-stem Frank's red maple. You can see these are beautiful, uh, eight foot and up. We get all the way up to a 12 footer. Behind them you see some gorgeous uh, Quercus macrocarpa. And those are available all the way up to three and a half inch. So we have some great looking plants in the field and we hope that you'll take some time to come out and visit us.